So pyrimidines are actually a lot simpler in, in a way, so hopefully I can get through them in about 10-15 minutes and leave me some time uh, to go do a quick review. So the pyrimidines are synthesized kind of a reverse way of purines, meaning uh, that you first make the pyrimidine ring, then you reattach it to, or you attach it to the phosphoribosyl PR, uh, ribophosphate. So you still need PRPP, but you first make the ring, then you attach it to uh, PRPP. So the same as for purines, you want to focus on the rate-limiting enzyme. We'll talk about it in a minute. But you also want to focus on the contributing amino acids to the ring. Aspartic acid, glutamine. Only two amino acids needed. And most importantly, no THF, no folic acid needed. That's a big difference between most pyrimidine synthesis and purine synthesis. So you got to pay attention to that. I say most because some there's one pyrimidine that uh, uh, we'll talk about later that requires THF. But for most pyrimidines, no folic acid is required. You just need aspartic acid and glutamine. So, uh, and this is just CO2. It's not coming from THF.